Hello everybody, Chris here, and today I want to show you how you can actually take a list of items inside of OpenOffice Calculator and remove any duplicates from them. Now it's not totally obvious how you would do this because there's no automatic command in order to do so. So the first thing you'll need to do, and I've already done that here, would be to take all of your data and sort it. I'll just go through the steps really to show you how to do it. You would go to data and then sort after you select all of the items and you can sort by ascending or descending. It uh, doesn't particularly matter. What you do want to have happen though is that duplicate items like you see here on line 23 Chin Soon and the next one uh, line 24 Chin Soon, excuse me if I'm butchering the names by the way, um, are basically right next to each other. And from there what we can actually do is create an if formula. So if we go to column B uh, or cell B1 specifically we go to function wizard and then what we're looking for is the if function you can uh, just click anywhere and then type i to get straight to the i functions um, now if then basically it's gonna have binary out for its uh, output it's either gonna return true or false depending on what we put in so what we wanna check is if the cell a1 is equal to a2 which means this is going to be checking to this one and as we extend it out it's going to go down the entire list seeing if any cell is equal to the next one and if it is we want it to return something that represents true such as a 1 which is uh, perfectly fine and otherwise return a 0 so now this is going to return a 0 here because of course a cha and a or I mean however you say it are not exactly the same name it would need to be uh, exact, like item, chinsoon, item, etc. Et and of course, you don't need that item in there that's just currently the data I'm working with. So now we have this formula in one cell, but we need to apply it to every single B cell all the way down this list. So what we do is if you go to the bottom right hand corner, you'll see a cross here. If you click on that and drag down, you'll get this uh, red extension. And we bring that all the way down the list to make sure that the formula applies for every single cell here. And you'll see as we scroll back up, some of them uh, do have duplicates in fact. Uh, this one is actually duplicated three times. Um, so we know which cells are actually uh, duplicating here, but the data isn't particularly sorted. So if we want to make this easier to see, we can select all of this data and we can't actually sort based on the the second row right here because that's a function it's not just a number but we can remove the function out of it and just leave the number results behind and we do that by control C to copy all of the uh, A column and B column now go over to a uh, different area like let's say F and G or E and F and uh, hit control shift V to do a special paste in um, you can leave it as is, just make sure that formulas is not uh, checked so that the formulas will be stripped out, but the numbers will be left uh, left here. So you'll see um, in the formula box, we have a 0, we have a 1, but we don't have the if formula. But we can actually sort these numbers, we can't sort the if formulas. So now we need to select all of the, the new columns, E and F, all the way down and once you have it selected go to data and then sort you can choose ascending or descending but you have to make sure it's the column with the numbers in it hit ok and now we can scroll down and see where all the ones are at and these are our duplicates so all we need to do is select them backspace and we're done uh, then of course you can resort this data if necessary although it does seem to be already in ABC order so we're good to go uh, so I've been Chris. I hope you found this very useful. Um, it's too bad there's not an automatic function to do this currently in OpenOffice Calculator, but it is doable as you see here. Uh, if you want to make a, pay, um, a contribution to the Patreon, it's patreon.com slash christutorials. Aside from that, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.